Steinmeier calls for Gaza's borders to be open. The Could MK Benny Bagan resigns from the government. Protesters attempt to prevent Christian worshippers at King David's tomb. And MK's march in New York celebrate Israel Parade. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the top stories for June 1st. German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier on Sunday called for Gaza's borders to be opened during a visit to the region. Am Ende brauchen wir beides echte Lebenschancen für die Menschen in Gaza durch zügigen Wiederaufbau, auch durch Öffnung von Grenzen. Aber wenn ich sage beides, dann brauchen wir auch ein Ende der Angriffe mit Raketen aus dem Gazastreifen heraus. Beides muss stimmen. Und dann hoffe ich, dass wir in Dingen vorankommen, die uns in der jüngeren Vergangenheit nicht gelungen sind. Steinmeier's comments were made during a joint news conference with Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Rami Hamdallah in Ramallah. Today, Steinmeier was set to visit Gaza. However, he said he wouldn't be meeting with Hamas officials. The EU's policy is that it won't engage with Hamas until the organization recognizes Israel, forswears terrorism and accepts previous Israeli-Palestinian agreements. It was announced yesterday that Benny Begin resigned from the government on Friday after having been excluded from the cabinet to make way for Gilad Erdan. The Quid sources said there is a good chance Begin will resign from the Knesset, which would make Sharon Haskell 31st on the Likud list and MK. Netanyahu asked heads of other coalition partners to allow the Likud to have 13 ministers instead of the 12 mentioned in coalition agreements after Public Security Minister Ed Dan was sworn in last Monday. Their assent would have allowed Begin to remain in the cabinet, but they wouldn't agree. Hundreds of Jewish protesters sought on Sunday to prevent a group of Greek Orthodox Christians from entering a holy site at King David's tomb. According to Christian tradition, the complex houses the site of Jesus' last supper. The protesters gathered by the site in Jerusalem's old city and conducted a mass prayer service and study session in an effort to block access to the building. Despite efforts to prevent the Christian worshippers from entering, the police managed to ensure that they were able to gain access and conduct their religious ceremony. And five Israeli MKs from various parties marched in the Salute to Israel parade in Manhattan on Sunday. They marched alongside representatives of pro-Israel organizations from across the U.S. Minister Without Portfolio Ophir Akunis led the 51st annual parade, together with New York Mayor Bill de Blasio. And Netanyahu sent a televised message to the parade participants. You've gathered to express your solidarity with the one and only Jewish state. And in so doing, you're sending a powerful message of support for the essential justice of Israel's cause. In this turbulent region of the Middle East, where countries are imploding, militant Islam runs rampant, terrorists butcher the innocent, and human rights are routinely trampled upon, Israel stands out as a beacon of freedom and human rights. So as you salute Israel today in the streets of Manhattan, know that you're standing up for what is right and what is just. Thank you. God bless you. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.